Hey everyone, we are back with another What's Sold on eBay video. Linda and I are here. We got sales for Wednesday, I think like 14 going out. Yesterday we sold over a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Today not so much, but still a good day. We're happy to see some stuff move out. Got to keep um, being thankful for all the sales you do get. And this is a pretty solid day for us. So Linda's going to start off with some of the media stuff and then we're going to jump into the other stuff next. So Linda, go for it. Well, first, I know today is Cinco de Mayo, but do you guys know what else it's called? If you do, put it in the comments. See if anybody can guess what it is. I'm hoping some people will know what it is. In reference okay. to what yesterday was. Yeah, in reference to yesterday. Okay, so let's see. She's first, not prepared. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, we have this DVD. Uh, it's a double feature. It's Baby Boom and Mr. Mom. It sold for 20 shipped. Just an easy... Ready to go. I've never seen either movie, so. It was one that I hadn't seen before, so I scanned it, and that's why I looked it up, and it seemed to be valuable. A lot of times, the double feature ones or three films on one DVD can do well. Yeah. Uh, and then we have another songbook, The Reader Digest Country and Western. Yay. I am not a country She fan. likes country secretly. She just <laughs> won't admit it. I do like country, some country <laughs> music, so. Grew up on country <laughs> music, represent my dad. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, she doesn't really like it as much, but it, it it is good, and she listens to some songs. Yeah, his favorite one is uh, what's that? Devil went down to Georgia one. I do know all the words. That's all. All I'm the say. words. <laughs> uh, what did that one sell for, though? <laughs> oh, that one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that one sold for fourteen, thirteen fifty shipped. Okay, and I'll hold this one up, and then you can talk okay. about it. This one is um I. What is it called? I Can't Make This Up by I Kevin Hart. I Can't Make Hart. This Up by Kevin Hart. This is uh, $10 shipped. Kevin Hart's awesome. I like watching his comedy, so. Yeah, and I got that in the big $350 buy. It's just one of those ones you scan and it happened to have some value. Uh, next thing we have is a Woodrow Wilson high school yearbook. This one's been listed for a while. Um, this one sold for $28 shipped. Just a good one. Still good condition. 28 bucks for a yearbook that I told you guys I'm all about that. It took a while to sell. Some of them do, but when they do sell, it's easy money. I'm usually not paying more than a couple bucks for them. And then the other yearbook we have is actually falling apart pretty bad. This, this is a paper, like it's yeah. paper yearbook. It's not it's like paper, bound. So, yeah, but the with front the hard cover's cover. off, the back cover's off and everything. And it's got so much writing on it. This one actually sold for 25 shipped. It's from yeah. 1965. And it's a junior high yearbook, guys. And I bought a bunch of junior high ones. It was actually from a principal who worked at multiple junior highs throughout her growing up or career or whatever, I should say. And um, she had a bunch of yearbooks. And they've all sold kind of slowly, 20 25 bucks. So i um, definitely happy with it. Usually junior high ones are not as good, but there can be some money there. And again, if you're getting them for a dollar, why not take a chance? And then the last media thing we have is um, this is a guidepost parallel Bible. And this one has four different versions in it that it compares, so these sell pretty good. This one went from uh, for 19 shipped. Yeah, that one's really cool. If you are, you know, if you want the Bible, it has all the different versions next to each other to kind of compare how the scripture is written. So those ones do well because people like to kind of reference different scriptures. Here's a Hallmark keepsake. This is a Wiley Coyote, and thank you, Linda, for helping out with the media. Um, this is a Looney Tunes one. Got it for two or three dollars. I can't remember an estate sale. It sold for 30 something, 33? 33. Just sold, so that was awesome. Not even Christmas time. Um, I was surprised it was worth that much money, but I'm definitely happy. Here's some Bible character game. It's like a little card game. We got a bunch of these little card games. There was like an animal one, two Bible ones, and some other one at a garage sale for about a buck a piece. My father in law actually found them. And um, this one sold for 20 something shipped. 22 shipped. 22 shipped. That one will go in a bubble mailer. Should go out first class. Here's an Airport Express router. I got this for. I got 10 bucks. It was a Sony um, home theater system with speakers and everything and this Airport Express and this next Sony item in there. This one I think sold for 40 or 50 bucks and we spent 10 and I think we already sold one speaker for that lot from like 50 bucks as well. And this is the Sony, I forgot it's like an amplifier, uh, yeah. surround amplifier with the little wireless thing it needs right there. And this one sold for what, 35? 35. 35 yeah. ships. So not as much, but still sold. Um, and again, we spent 10 on that whole buy. That was from one of my sources. He does clean outs. He had a whole bucket of it. Said, I'm not going to untangle the wires. I said, don't worry. I'll give you 10 bucks. That's what he wanted. And um, ended up being a great deal. Same guy. I also got this Orbit timer for two, three bucks, I think. It's sealed, but you can, t I mean, it's new, but it's all damaged. <laughs> it's all for like 22 bucks. Still brand new though. Um, that one, I don't think it'll fit in a padded. It might squeeze in there, but not really the greatest buy. The packaging kind of hurt us. 
Here is a Sega Genesis. It's like a poster. I don't know what exact game it's for or whatever. Dragon's Fury. Dragon's Fury. This one only sold for 12 bucks. We got a bunch of um, posters and different inserts from video games from one of our buys a while back. And I parted them all out. A lot of them sell for 20 bucks. This one was a little bit lower. Here's an Aris modem here. I got this for a dollar at a garage sale. Um, this one right here, I forgot the model number. TG2472G. It sold for, I think, 45 ship? 47. 47 ship. It's got to get those extra two bucks. <laughs> so it does come with an Ethernet cord and the power cord. It works. And um, that one's good to go. And then lastly, we sold a Ninja coffee replacement. Uh, it's glass pitcher here, whatever this is, pot. Yeah. Craft if you want to be fancy. <laughs> um, this one was five bucks from a Ninja. I knew the guy said it probably didn't work. He wasn't sure, but it had a bunch of parts on it and it's like a hundred dollar unit. I gave him the five bucks and I sold this one piece for 40. I think we sold another piece for 15 and we have like one or two more pieces left. So we'll definitely make money when it's all said and done. 40 bucks on this. I will go ahead and bubble wrap it, put it in a box and put that box in another box and void fill. And then basically it's double boxed. It's worth the extra protection on something like that because it's easy for it to break, and I'd rather pay a little extra in shipping, a little more work, just to make sure it has a better chance of getting there. So that's all we got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Those of you that have been supporting Linda in the comments, I get it. You guys like her better than me. She's way more beautiful, so I get it. Uh, but we'll probably both be here most days. Sometimes the baby might make it hard for Linda to be here. So, uh, But she's going to try to be here in all the videos so you get both of us. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, we're back with another What's Sold on eBay. These are Thursday sales. I think we have 12 going out today. Miss Linda is here with me. She's going to get us started with a few things that sold, the media items and the clothing stuff. So we'll let her go first. Well, first, for those of you who may have answered, the answer was Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> get it? Revenge of the Fifth? That's her Star Wars joke for yesterday, if you, or for the first clip, if you got that. So <laughs> for hopefully those you guys answered did. in the comments. She's trying to mix it up and add a little humor to the programming. But let's go ahead and get into it and go over what sold today. Okay, so first first thing I have is these are here. These are um, coach sandals. Um, I used to be a coach girl, but now I'm a Michael Kors girl. So. But yeah, coach Just... sandals are pretty good size wedges. But yeah, those sold for uh, 55 ship. We spent, I spent 10 on those. One of my sources had them at a garage sale for 10 bucks, so I got them. They were originally $89, though, so top of the line shoes for sure. Next, we have uh, Basic Writings, nine key essays. Woo. Uh, they sold for $12 shipped. I don't know what buy this came from. I don't know what it came from either, guys, but it did sell. <laughs> and we're back. We have the baby because she was fussing, so hopefully she'll be okay. But Linda will keep going with the yep. other sales. Uh, next thing I have is a vintage diet Snapple hat. I'm not a fan of Snapple, but somebody is because they bought this hat and it sold for $25 shipped. Yeah, that one was like a dollar. So just one of those weird hats. I thought someone might be a super crazy diet Snapple person, so it sold. And then we got a CD. Uh, in April came The Dawning of the Red Suns by Ramatan. Pretty much Ramatan. Grew, up, grew up on that CD from my childhood. No, I've never even heard of it. That's why I looked it up because I never heard of it. Uh, and this one actually sold for 32 ships. That's from so. the Rock and Roll Buy. I know that for a fact. And you see that it looks weird or random. Sometimes those are the ones that might be worthwhile. And we just listed this one that she's about to show last night. Didn't sell uh, for a whole lot, but it sold in a few hours. Yeah, Orange is the New Black Season 4. This is a pretty recent series. I didn't watch it, but I was I want to watch it because it looked pretty good. And this one sold for 8 shipped. So, 8 shift on a DVD. That's kind of the lowest I really want to be for a DVD. And then I think we have the Western shirt here. Uh, then we've got this Western shirt. And it's a blueprint with different kinds of, um, like, different patterns on it. And this one sold for 22 shipped. And I don't know if it's a crazy size, but it's just No, it's kind patterns. of, it's smaller. Usually the bigger sizes do better, but the crazy Western shirts do sell. So definitely can't complain about those. We did have a viewer sale. We sold these little rubber reindeers from like Hong Kong. They're like rubbery. I don't, I guess they are. I don't know what material. I don't, it's kind of like, um, like that super hard styrofoam that toys used to be made out of. I don't know what it is, well, but no, it's kind of plasticky. these sold for like 19 ship. The viewer bought them though. They're from a buy we had. I forgot where uh, I got it from, but I got a bunch of reindeer sold one set already thank you so much though for the purchase um, we always appreciate you sent me a message on ebay i responded back 
we don't get a lot of viewer sales and we don't ask you guys to spend any money in the store. Uh, obviously everyone works hard for their money. I don't expect you to buy the junk that we have, but if you do, please let us know because we do appreciate it and um, definitely helps us and our family. And I appreciate you spending the money with me. So thank you so much. And now I'm going to pass over the baby and I'm going to do the last few sales for today. One of my go-tos, Xbox 360 wireless adapter, guys. Doesn't look like much. It plugs into the back of the 360 and it gives you a wireless connection. These ones, this sold for 30 bucks. They're still selling well. People must still be using them with Xbox 360. So keep an eye out. There is a black version that has like two of these antennas. They also sell, that also sells for a little more. A Sony micro cassette. Recorder here, this is the M539V. It powers up and it plays, but it won't, when it records, the record's all like muffly and jacked up, no matter how I mess with it. So it does play. You can record something, but it doesn't sound that great, but it'll play a tape that already has a recording. It'll reverse and all that stuff. This sold for 20 bucks as is for parts. This was something in my random power bucket that I have a bunch of power cords in. It's a Coleco power adapter, 55416. This one sold for 45 shipped. It also sold overnight. So these are hard to come by. There's not a lot listed, but mine sold right away. The best sale of the night, guys, this military helmet. We got three of them. We've talked about them before. We sold that $258 one, I think, yesterday or the day before. I don't know. This is one that also sold at auction for $178. So we got three of them for 100 bucks. We sold one for 250 something. This one for 178, and we have one left. So hopefully it'll sell for around 150 to 220 bucks somewhere in there. That will be one of our better buys this year, I'm sure. And then we have a Marvel Secret Invasion Avengers magazine, not a magazine, comic lot. This is from a buy. I spent 10 bucks on a stack of just random newer comics. Didn't know much about it. Pretty might learn something. Some of them were Dark Horse comics and did pretty well. This little set sold for 21 shipped. Um, not really a whole lot, but it's going to California. Shipping won't be that much. I just wanted to get rid of them because we've had them for so long. So 21 bucks shipped on those. And that is everything. So Linda and I and the baby, we're going to finish up here, pack these up. And then we'll see you guys in the next one with what sells this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and by the way, I am kind of short. I'm only 5'3 on a good day. So yeah. that's why it looks like I'm... I look like massive compared to her, but I'm, <laughs> I'm really not that tall. I'm only 6 foot. 5'11". I'm 6 foot. Don't let Linda fool you. But either way, I look massive, like a massive human being compared to her, but it's not, it's not as bad as it looks. So it's kind of hard for the camera angle. So we're going to maybe try to make some adjustments, but we're doing the best we can right now. But thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.